Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Nicola Sturgeon may be a little worried this morning. She'll have been given the notice that she'll have to hand over all the details of all the journeys she undertook under the COVID lockdown. But worse than that is the revelation that she has to hand over all her WhatsApp messages. Now, of course, these are particularly relating to the uh, lockdown and all that, but you can guarantee there'll be so much more in there that this woman will go straight to the High Court to try and get this banned. She will expect the justice system to protect her because she knows full well, as we all know as well, that in there, in those messages, will probably be enough to send her to jail. Uh, likely anyway. Uh, so it is an absolute fight on her hand. Panic stations, she's been told she must not destroy those messages. Oh, I've lost my phone will be the latest wheeze. Uh, I went out and it, I left it somewhere or something. She will be so desperate to make sure that this does not come out. Um, and so, yes, the the worry and the, uh, the stress will hit her today. Uh, she'll be far too worried about that to even think about, you know, fostering children. So we'll take a look at this piece to see why this woman needs to really, really sort herself out and get on to her solicitor immediately. Here goes. So Scottish COVID inquiry to demand Nicola Sturgeon's private WhatsApps and secret ministerial car journeys. The former first minister was issued with a do not destroy letter in relation to her communications during the pandemic, including her private messages to ex-health secretary Jean Freeman. This is going to be um, a very worrying time for a woman who's been involved with a lot of stuff that others may think isn't necessarily good. It's. I bet she thought by doing it on WhatsApp, it will never come out because it's secret. Well, news for you, love. It's going to come out because it isn't secret anymore. The Scottish COVID inquiry will demand that Nicola Sturgeon's private WhatsApps and details of her secretive ministerial car journeys during their probe into the pandemic response north of the border. A pandemic response that went way, way beyond what was required because Nicola Sturgeon needed to show how different she was from the rest of Britain. And where we had this, that and the other, she had to go, oh no, you know, if Britain said you have to have like a six feet distance, she went, oh, you have to have four miles different. Uh, you know, if they said, no, you can't have parties of more than six, she went parties of more than two and things like that. She had to be so stricter. Uh, and she basically bounced people. She bounced the rest of Britain into wearing masks in schools and things like that. Well, it was totally unnecessary and actually proven since that it did nothing. But she did this. She made life hell for people because she needed to exercise the power she had. You know, and she's, uh, and it's all coming back to bite her. And if it does come out that she knew that all these restrictions were unnecessary and did them anyway, then she is going to open herself up to massive, massive financial problems because all these companies that lost money because of restrictions and things will sue and it will be delicious if this happens. Anyway, this revelation came among a Ferrari about how the UK COVID inquiry involving the Cabinet Office refusing to hand over WhatsApp messages and notebooks about Boris Johnson's prime time as Prime Minister. He has subsequently released them. Uh, Baroness Hallett had demanded that officials give them full access to his diaries and private messages ascertaining to the pandemic, but it has been met with resistance. Mr Johnson did urge the government to hand the materials to the inquiry in full without redactions on Wednesday, uh, following a row between his allies and the current regime at number 10. So uh, they have rescinded that and they have, you know, they're not fighting it. They are giving it to, uh, to the inquiry. So there is a precedent now that you do give it. Will Nicola Sturgeon do it? Well, she bugger. Uh, the documents include 24 notebooks with the contemporaneous notes, as well as his diaries and WhatsApp messages between Mr Johnson and cabinet ministers, advisers, and secret serv uh, and senior civil servants. Now, the Scottish Daily Express can reveal that Miss Sturgeon has been warned that she will have to get, give up similar documents to the Scottish COVID inquiry, which is set to hold its first hearings this year. Um, and I think this could be um, a fantastic inquiry. There's going to be stuff coming out over this that will show that what that woman woman did has caused irrevocable harm to people. Um, children especially 
she will have done things that were unnecessary and knowingly unnecessary and she will have permanently damaged uh, the lives of people and i think children especially will be traumatized to such a point that it will have affected their the rest of their lives and that's when um the court cases need to come um it means that private messages between former first minister and her cabinet during the pandemic could become public including exchanges with the then health secretary gene freeman the pair were allegedly nicknamed the shipman sisters by nurses in care homes after presiding over the admission of covid positive patients to care homes something which has led to calls for them to be prosecuted for corporate manslaughter they need to go to jail for it uh, there may also be revelations about where, where Miss Sturgeon travelled to during the pandemic using the ministerial car service the Scottish government has refused to publish a uh, journeys a journey log due to police Scotland advice and that is a load of crap that is utter crap we it, at the time yeah you don't tell in advance maybe but Two years down the line, there's no there's no danger. Uh, they have stuck to this excuse, even though she's no longer first minister. Yeah, it, there's no there's no security implications anymore. Publish them, show them, show everybody where she went, who she met with, what she said, and show those WhatsApps in full. Her sphincter will be giving it that. A spokesman for the Scottish COVID inquiry said the Scottish COVID-19 inquiry has issued various orders requiring the Scottish government to produce material relating to its strategic response to the pandemic, which cover, among other things, communications between ministers, officials and advisers relevant to the industry's terms of or the inquiry's terms of reference. In other words, they want to know everything about everything relating to this. Uh, and these people will be absolutely cacking their pants because they know that they did stuff that is irreversibly damaging, that is probably illegal, that has the potential to lead to massive lawsuits. And I think some people may end up going to prison. And I hope that they, absolutely this is the case. Uh, last August, the inquiry issued a do not destroy letter to several organizations and individuals, including the Scottish government, which may hold information relevant to the inquiry's investigations. The correspondence aims to ensure that information, including relevant electronic communications, is preserved and retained so that it is available to the inquiry when it is needed. Uh, that notice expressly referred to electronic communications such as WhatsApp messages. The inquiry, therefore, at an early stage, envisaged the potential need to access communications in addition to emails. And this inquiry is presently preparing for its first set of substantive hearings dealing with impacts of the strategic response to COVID-19 in Scotland. And it was just delicious. COVID-19 for Nicola Sturgeon was like all her birthdays come at once. She could sit there. She had she answered to no one. She could impose rule by diktat. She could make people's lives utterly miserable. She had total control over the nation. And this tiny little ineffective woman who's never done a day, a proper day's job except for a few days in a law firm when she got something so badly wrong she could never practice law again. A woman who was probably bullied like hell at school. A woman whose whole life has been vindictive and hate-filled suddenly was like the emperor in Star Wars. She had total control and nobody could do anything to stop her. And now we can. And it was it's going to be great. I want to see this woman in court. I want to see her accused of all the things that we accuse her of. And I want to see her squirm. And I want to see her face as she realises that the door of that cell is going to close for a long time. And it is, it is absolutely delicious if that's the case. If that's a picture of her being driven off to, to uh, prison, I would be so happy. And this is a story we are going to follow every inch of the way. So if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe now. This story is going to run and run and run. We're going to follow it and we're going to put up all the details. Anyway, I shall round off there and come up. So this is absolutely uh, an astounding set of revelations that's about to come out because you know, you just know that she will be desperately trying to stop this. I mean, the things she will have said and done thinking, you know, oh, well, it'll never come out, whatever. And now it's all going to come out. But, you know, she has got her, she's, she, she's going to have a fight on her hands. She's going to try every means possible to ban this 
because she knows what it means. People have had enough. People have had enough of the uh, the control. You know, the, the, this uh, this overriding undemocratic dictatorial control that she had over her life. It'll, that kind of thing will never happen again. And if uh, if it's shown, like I say, that, that uh, all of it was unnecessary, um, it's going to it's going to put a, a sort of a test to the people. I mean, not just in, in Scotland, I mean, everywhere, worldwide. All these regimes that clamp down on their people unnecessarily as these inquiries come out. Um, it's it's going to change everything. It's going to change the, think, the relationship between the people and their government if this is shown that uh, all of this was an unnecessary uh, power grab, effectively. Uh, and I do hope that's the case. And I really do hope that uh, they, they they go into every detail, you know, down to the nth degree. We need the complete and utter truth to come out, unvarnished, uh, unspun, the truth. And then we look and we prosecute. And we prosecute hard. And we go for the maximum sentence for the maximum damage that's being done. Uh, and I'd love to see not just her, a load of them, sitting there behind bars and then show you know it was show politicians really where the real power lies and it lies with us because we are many and they are few anyway um, i'm gonna round off there but uh, i am definitely going to be following this story to its grim conclusion however long it takes so as i say if you uh, haven't yet subscribed now is an excellent time to do so right at the beginning anyway i shall leave it there thank you very much for watching um until next time stay safe Stay well. Don't believe any politician when they're talking about health issues. And goodbye.